Greetings, everyone. Ah, uh, my, <laughs> I, I did it. I did it. Um, Scrapbook.com had a sale. Let me make sure I got everything out of here. They had a sale. And um, they had a bunch of butterflies on sale. So I said, yes, please sign me up. I need the butterflies. And it was a great deal. It basically makes them a little over $10 a, a pack. And you'll see. Oh, it's fabulous. So we got the... What did I get? Uh, wait. Oh, I was going to say, there should be more. So, <laughs> you guys, I I purchased this. It was on sale. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. This is Creative Expressions. It's a 4 by 3 little bitty um, C-E-M-S butter. I don't know if that's the name of it. Yeah. Anyways, that's a mini little that I, I paid like three bucks for that one. And then this one was free. This one was free. Look it. Look it. It's a little spellbinder set. It's got, it's a three by three stencil set. Look how cute that is. So you got your branch, your leaves, and then your flowers. Super excited about that. And then the, the sale. The sale was on the dies, you guys. You get one, two. Look at those. Are you ready? This one. I, saw. <laughs> I had to get it. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. You guys, if you've been following my channel and you hang out with me and Deborah on Saturdays, then you saw. Oh, listen to that crinkle, you guys. Um, you saw the, oh my goodness, look at it. Track, keep on track, Elizabeth. I'm just so excited. You saw that we started our, well, I started a, a full journal and she was playing in her journal. They're kind of artsy fartsy. Mine is very artsy fartsy. I love it. Absolutely. But as soon as I saw that this was on sale, I've been wanting it because look it, look at how big it is. Um, as soon as it went on sale, I says, I'm getting it because it's going to look fabulous in my journal. And, um, let's cut some out. Okay. I, ooh, ah, knocking things around. Ooh, I didn't get all the tape off. So I opened all of them up and I pulled all of them out, as you can see. So here... <laughs> in our little magnetic tray we've got our six little pieces of these scrapbook.com oh my goodness uh shapes number 23 okay so this is s c b shapes 23 and all it says is butterflies two on the front six pieces and that's the six little dinky guys then our second one is Scrapbook Calm Shapes 22, and this is Butterflies number one, okay? And that's for our two-piece sets, okay? You get your innards and your outards. And then, of course, the three jumbo pieces. Oh, my goodness. This is SBC Scrapbook Calm Shapes 29, number 29 and this is nested large butterflies oh my goodness you guys look at how jumbo the jumbo one is oh uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead i pulled out some paper i couldn't resist um i pulled out this blue shiny stuff i was hoping it was oh, it is i was hoping it was enough for this look at that you guys can't even see the full gloriousness. <laughs> ah, let me lift up a little. Get you like this. So, <clears throat> for this jumbo butterfly, you will need a bigger platform that will hold an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Okay. And I have the Spellbinders Platinum. Okay. So, it's the big base. 
and we're going to go ahead and run that through. Looks like everything's good. I'm going to crank, crank, crank. Mm -mm -mm. So excited, so excited. Ooh, so big. Get it through there. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Baby Shark, Kathy Zilski is going live right now. <laughs> Let me put that on Do Not Disturb. Mm. Okay. And here, here it is. Are you guys wet? Ooh, look at Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that cut deep. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. It cut, it cut deep. But I'm not going to complain because look at that. Now, this is what I want to do with mine, right? I want to take it. I want to fold it on the center. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, and then I want to get my journal book and sporadically throughout some of the pages. Okay, let me let me go to this one here. I got all my parts in here for my journal, right? Look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't that going to be lovely? And then you can flip the page and we can hide some stuff in here. There will be some stuff here. And then um, when you're flipping, 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 and then you get to the last page. Aha! More butterfly goodness. So we're, I'm going to pop in a big one on each of the signatures. Then I'm going to do some smaller ones. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, again, Deborah and I started our journal jur journal journey on uh, Saturdays Live. Two Crafty Girls. You can look that up. It's also in a playlist. Two Crafty Girls when Deborah and I get together. <sighs> yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And then look at this. You can even use this in like your journal, right? Here, let me show you that real quick too. So say like we have a page that's kind of plain and we don't know what to do with. You can take this excess, glue it in there, fold it and glue it in there, trim it up on the sides, and then you'll have the negative. Okay, so don't go, oh, it's wasteful. No, or you can go through and punch the little butterflies off this little bit. But look at that. You know what? I really like that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll trim it up so I get a nice little border around there. Maybe I'll do something interesting. I don't know, but I'm going to put this. I have a little uh, bin for everything that I'm using in my, <laughs> my little kiwi. I'm going to find a place for that in there. Maybe. I don't know. So I've got a little bin for that. So I can house all of these bits and baubles that I'm cutting out here. Ugh. But isn't that just yummy? Such a big, beautiful... I just got to find a place how to store that, right? <laughs> That's ginormous. I love it. So let's do... Ugh. I've got, I got, I got some lime green, guys. I think I'm going to do the next size for that one. I'm going to pop that there. But look, you guys, I'm going to do this too. I'm going to take some of those smaller ones and pop them in there like so. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then we'll go through... I'm just going to fill up this page. We'll do that one that way. And then we're just going to spread them out. Spread them out a little bit. We don't want... When we're stacking our dies, too, we don't want to put everything in a line, right? We don't want to do this across there because then it's just like a, like a rectangle or a square die. They always recommend giving it a little shift so it goes in corner first. Well, if we go in with all these lined up, it's going to try and put pressure on all of them at the exact same time. And we don't want that. 
So we want to spread them out, get them, get them spread out a little bit, like so. You know, we've got so much room, we can even throw that on there. And this is why I like the big Spellbinders Platinum, the big base. Um, you can cut so much out of one sheet in one go. Okay, I think that's... And then I lined everything up. And I'm really bad. All of mine, you guys, my cut, I need new cutting plates. I'm so bad. I just do whatever I do, right? Get those little butterflies in there. Get those little wings. Make sure nobody's stacked up on each other. Get that back where I wanted it. Because we don't want to break our dies and running a die on top of a die. It's not good for your machine either. So like this one, I want to turn it a little bit so its wing goes in first. And I think that looks good. Might put you up just a little bit higher, like so. Okay. Yeah, I've used this so much. <laughs> I just use both. <laughs> I use both plates to cut. <laughs> see, see there's no hard turning to get in there. That first go around, well, it's hard because, ooh, they're thick. Oh my goodness, that one's a tough one right there. Oh my goodness. Oops, just lost the die. Hold on a sec. Where'd you go? Where'd you, where'd you go? There you are. So I'm gonna throw that back in my magnet catcher. And you guys, if you like this cute little magnet catcher, you can thank my hubby. He got it at um, Harbor Freight. <laughs> it's a the U.S. General, and it's green. And so he saw it and was like, "Oh, the wifey, the wifey's gonna want one of those." And it's perfect because they just oh, just dropped another one. They just plop right in there, and uh, I mean, it holds really good. I mean, that one's not even, like, in there all the way. And it's it's in there. And it's, it's nice, too, because you can't, like, accidentally just bump it and dump it. I wish the little bitty trays that everybody's making had heavier bottoms like that. I'm constantly whacking mine around. Ugh. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. Oh, how cute. Now, if you're doing scrapbooking, okay, if you're methodical about it and really place that butterfly somewhere on the page in an interesting position, okay, and then do maybe some ink blending or some stenciling, you could put this on a page and stick a picture behind this big cutout. I can totally see, like, if you go to the gardens or something and you've got tons of pictures of roses or um, other floral, you could do, like, a floral mosaic in here. Ugh, like, if you put this in the center more, and then you could have your little title, little fun thing, and do that. Ugh, so beautiful. And then let's take a peek at these. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Uh, and see if we, I'm not going to close it, but if you closed it, you could put little pictures or something in there so that they can poke through these. And again, we could also put it in our journal around the pages. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. I really like it though. And let's, let's measure, let's measure these for you guys, right? Because they're huge. They're absolutely huge. Okay, let me let me get my bin back out and find that beautiful blue one that we ah, that we were just using. Okay. And we're gonna come right over here to the corner. Right there. There we go. Okay. So fold it in half. Okay. From center, we'll get the center over there to over here. We're almost seven and a half. 
Look at that. Almost seven and a half top to bottom. And then we're going to get our center lined up there. Okay, we're going to get that there. And then we are looking at this one here. Five and a half folded. So if we put that little nub there, we put that little nub there. Five and a half folded. Eleven. 11 inch wingspan from there to there is 11 inches could you imagine putting that in a 12 by 12 scrapbook page and again you could put picture mosaics in there uh you could pop it in and like glue this side down so that this side is open i mean you could do all sorts of stuff i wouldn't glue this side down because it's all shiny that's why it's going in my book like that. And then, oh, look it. So if I were to fold that right there, we could totally layer them up. Look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. Let's get you back over here to our little bitties. Little bitties. Can get that in my bin. Get that in my bin. Oh, look at these. So I cut out some of just the background pieces and your background pieces are going to be for these detailed pieces. Are those supposed to pop out? Um, I don't think those are supposed to pop out. Although. Oh, it has a little bit of embossing. This one here has a little bit of embossing right there. That little guy pops out, though. Let me grab my pokey tool. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. So that piece pops out. But these little lumpy de bumps right there, um, I think, are just supposed to be embossed. Mine cut through a little bit there. I don't know. Is it supposed to be embossed or is it supposed to cut? That's the question we're asking today. Mine poked through on the little one on the other side. So I'm just going to poke it through on this side. But look at that. And then you would put it... Oh, look. So if I had to cut this in a different color and layered it, that's what we're getting. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so spring right there. Oh, and then these little bitties. Oh my goodness, they're so stinking cute. They're they're these are gonna be throughout my <laughs> my journal. Um, I'm probably gonna figure out what color to put with these green pieces and cut. I'll probably cut the other ones out of this too. But look at oh my goodness. So many butterflies, so many butterflies. I hope this inspires you. Maybe you've got some butterflies in your stash that are dyes or an SVG that you can cut with your your Cricut Cuddlebug, um, not Cuddlebug, Cricut, Silhouette, Brother Scan and Cut, all of the electronic cutting machines. Maybe you've got some butterflies. Cut a ginormous one, fold it in half, put it in your album. Then cut some little bitty ones to hang out with it. Do some fun cutouts. Uh, the possibilities. Pull out those butterflies. Dust them off, you guys. Spring is coming. Well, spring is sprung, right? Um, summer is upon us. And we want to see those little butterflies out there pollinating with the bees. Oh, my goodness. Mm, I can't wait. Well... <laughs> I've got so many things for my journal. Um, I can't wait to show more ideas for my journal. Hang out with me and Deborah on the second Saturday of the month at 7 p.m. Eastern live right here on the channel. I'm going to keep on cutting. I'm going to cut a few more. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.